Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Playtech TV. My name is Kevin and today we're going to be putting up DDR4 against DDR3. So our contender for DDR4 is this G-Skill Ripjaws 4 kit. Uh, it's running at 2400 MHz. This is a 4 times 4 GB kit, quad channel. Uh, the timings are 15, 15, 15, 35 and as I said before this is DDR4. Now we're putting that up against a ADATA XDG uh, DDR3 memory kit, which is also 16 gigabytes, also 2400 megahertz, but has timings of 11, 13, 13, and 35. So let's put these guys up against each other and see who comes out on top. So what are the differences between DDR3 and DDR4? Well, the speeds of the first one. So DDR3 as a base nowadays usually comes in at 1333 megahertz whereas DDR4 is going to come in with a minimum of 2133 megahertz memory speed so big bump up there also a difference in the voltages so DDR3 primarily runs at 1.5 volts where DDR4 will run at 1.2 volts there's also going to be a difference in the memory density so DDR3 was able to go up to 8 gigabytes per stick where DDR4 will be able to go up to 16 gigabytes per stick and uh, DDR4 just has much higher memory bandwidth than DDR3. So let's get into the benchmarks with this DDR4. So I use IDA64 and did their memory benchmarking on there. The DDR3, remember these are running at the exact same frequencies, for the read test scored 35,668 megabytes a second. The DDR4 scored 50,882 megabytes a second, so a big jump up there. Now to write, the DDR3 scored 37,414 megabytes per second, whereas the DDR4 scored 39,984 megabytes a second. And to copy. So DDR3 scored 34,397 megabytes per second in copy speed, whereas the DDR4 scored 52,597 megabytes a second. So we're seeing a big jump up here with DDR4, and that's just running at the same frequencies. Imagine when DDR4 starts getting really high up in the frequencies, so you're going to see even bigger gaps there in favor of DDR4. So in conclusion, you can already see the benefits of DDR4 over DDR3, but this is just the tip of the iceberg for DDR4. It's brand new, and it's only available on the X99 platform. So it'll be interesting to see how well this does as it improves technologically over time and is available on more platforms than just X99. Now, I thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you next time on Playtech TV.